All right, here's up one mil, that bottom dot. over a little left huh here's another mill so let's see where this goes that was straighter Here's three mils. What in the world? Whoa, that never happened. One more. Let's go uh, four mils. Let's go up a little. Where'd that go? It's getting hot. We're at five mils. And we, the the unfair thing here is, I'm shooting farmets. I got some mixed uh, rounds here, so we'll see. <laughs> it's not going good, I guess. Boy, we shifted way. Oh no, I just can't see my. That was actually a tight group. Let's go six mils. That one felt like it was spread. I'm gonna go seven mils, and it should be just catching the corner, the top corner there. Felt like that last one was a little, a little bit bad, but yeah, it's right up there. Other than me shooting bad, it's looking good. I'm gonna go over like two mils. All right, this is uh, six mils up and four mils right. See where that hit. Oh yeah, it's right at the edge. I just caught the edge. I'm gonna split the fence. I'm gonna go 
left two mills. One, two. That was the last one on there. All right, last three back down to zero. See if it returned to zero. How do we do? Here's uh, five 50 grainers uh, on four power at that center target. That was fun. Here's the that square target. There's three more on one power. Whoa, I was starting to get nervous. <laughs> All right, so how we do? So, uh, long story short, it came back to zero uh, after going seven mils up. <clears throat> and went back to six mils. Shot four to the right and shot two to the right and then went all the way back down and put them back right down here but uh the groups i tended to shoot a little bit higher i'm wondering if it's because my target was down on the bottom here and i was when i'd cheat my shots i would cheat high just like thinking i was on the edge you know i don't know but aiming at that point every time there's one mil which is an inch and a half higher than a mil Two mils, which the good shot was right on two mils, and then stretched about an inch and a half. Three mils, uh, string right there. Four mils, crazy vertical spread. This is right about the point where I realized I was <laughs> had two different kinds of uh, bullets loaded up in my uh, magazine. So I had some varmints and some, they might be technically varmint, but some VMAX. They're both 150 or both 55, but and then shot a really good group, which you're like, what the heck? I guess you get lucky every once in a while, but that's still inch and a half over five mil, six mil. One was perfect, too high, seven mil, uh, one just about perfect, and a couple about an inch high, and then back down to six. I didn't shoot anymore at six, but I shot the uh, four mils over you see this one just caught the edge and that's right on 14 inches so that's about perfect and seven inches or two mils just about perfect and then return to zero which is what you want um, to have after adjusting all that and then back down so that's pretty cool pretty cool uh, little test yeah, that's stroth anyway. Well, what I think, uh, yeah, four power is pretty nice. I actually shot offhand at two power, and I got all kinds of excuses, but I'm not even going to show that video. I didn't hit once. Um, I won't bore you with the excuses. Um, the turrets, I love them. They're just about as good as my uh, VX3 I CDS um, Leupold, and gosh, I would have to crank them right next to each other. But I like 
I like both. They're real sharp and real positive and audible. The um, my other SWFAs are good. Um, my twenty power is a little the squishy one for some reason, but they're all supposed to be the same uh, body. But the turrets on that one are a little bit squishy. But um, uh, I liked it. One power is fine for a hundred yards at those little. Um, whatever those were, six inch, eight inch plates. Um, four power, power is even easier. Um, what else? What else do I think? The reticle is cool. I would like to try holding over a little bit. I didn't get to shoot it at 300 yards. There were people out on the 300 yard um, deal. <clears throat> the one with the steel targets anyway. I didn't want to go set up targets, but um uh, What else can I think of wasn't really a fair test because I had mixed uh, Rounds they were all my hand loads and I just thrown a bunch in a 30 round mag and then I Had a few 50 uh, 50 grains that I threw in there and um, the steel and Gosh, did I throw any of those in there on this test? I don't think so. But the return to zero was outstanding, I think. Mm. I'm pretty sure it tracks. I think I shot weird because it, it, uh, I think it's the, shooting at the bottom edge of the target kind of plays with your mind, is my opinion. But let me, uh, grab this gun here and uh, this gun it's not a gun it's a rifle it's not fun actually it is for fun I think so yeah um, how many it took five rounds to zero no six seven I shot at those those uh, steel targets six seven eight yep and I adjusted as I hit them because they were freshly painted. I could see. Hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, I. The way they feel is like it's like a good deep uh, detent type feeling. And uh, I just loved them. I think I'm going to go out. I got a bunch of match bullets, like 68 and 75 grainers, and I'm going to go out and maybe zero that out. <clears throat> zero it out with that and set the turrets with that. And then see how I can, how far I can stretch it out, you know. And I'll probably, if I do that, I'll try to video it. I usually have to video that anyway, because uh, if I don't have a spotter telling me, I have to look at the video, but, um, here's my three to 15 and it's a different kind of feel, but they feel pretty good. I would say it's more closer to my Leopold in the and that's in my locker, but anyway, yeah, a um, lot of fun. I want to go play with it some more. I would like to prove that I could shoot this AR to like 800 yards and hit some consistent hits at about 800 yards. But, um, yeah, so anyway, the one to four, definitely success. Definitely loved it. Um, I'm looking forward to playing with it some more out in the field. Um, I'm getting set, kind of sick of the range. Um, it's no secret that a lot of people have been moving to uh, Montana and uh, a lot of gun lovers, a lot of shooters. The range has felt the burden the last couple of years. I've seen it a bunch. So, anyway, thanks for watching.